am Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Oh, <laughs> welcome back. Oh, man. Oh, Hello. Geez. Did I tell you on my flight back uh, to uh, California that there was a couple next to me? Um, just... A couple what? <laughs> <laughs> I can already tell this episode's gonna be good. <laughs> um, there's a couple just making out next to oh, me. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. For the whole fucking flight. Oh my god, just, come on. I guess they were a new couple, which is fine. Like, I'm not even against public displays of affection, but like, put a cap on it, man. Like, no one... It was like they were showing off, like, look at how in love we are. Uh -huh. Which is gross. It's um, gross. It's a little gross. Yeah. Um, so I kept trying to, like, make, like... Gross noises, so they'd stop. <laughs> like it would kill the mood. You're just like, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what it was. It was like it first. It started off like, <laughs> like like little quick things like that. Uh huh. And then uh, eventually, it got to like full on like. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Nothing stopped him though. You think at the end of the flight they're like. Thank you so much for making those noises. My girlfriend is so into like the sick thing. <laughs> yeah, the sick thing. <laughs> the um, yeah, I bet they were like that guy was really rude. <laughs> <laughs> Just slurping on each other. Hey, at least they didn't have a fucking halitosis mouth. Oh yeah, you you get people with foul breath. Yes. We have good luck with people next to planes, yeah, next to I, us on planes. Yeah, I have the worst luck. I don't I don't understand. The, the only one time I had a good flight was oh, oh man I wish I could remember the story, but essentially <laughs> essentially what happened was like it was it was very silent for like most of the flight and then we were getting close like we had a really good conversation she was like a pretty girl and it was like very pleasant right and uh, and then she said something that was like so like oh I don't want to talk to this person anymore really like some like weird, like, political stance or something, oh, and, I'm, sure. and I'm like, Alright, I hope you have a good time in L.A. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. I've always wanted to go there. I, I'm actually a scientist. I, I, I study, you know, beach patterns and, and how they form. Oh, that's very it's interesting. Really interesting. Yeah, wow. God, I hate black people. They are... <laughs> oof. It was something like that. It, yeah, it's just like some, it's like some complete, like, deal breaker where you're like, Whoa! Shit. Mmm. Mm. Is that what you wanted? Well... Oh no. Oh no. I don't think you can make it. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, um... Did you hear what happened to me? Uh, I heard something about how your, like, head exploded and was bleeding everywhere. It didn't, it didn't, but it could have come to that. It was, uh... I, we, we went to South by Southwest. And had an awesome time, yeah. and did a really fun star bomb show. That's true. But I was sick the entire time. That's also that sucks. And I was, <laughs> I was trying to get better, but I I got on a flight to get back to L.A. because because we had to get back to work, and I wasn't all the way recovered. And I didn't know. I knew that flying with a cold could be like, kind of bad for you. Yeah. I did not know it could be like horribly bad for you. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, you can actually like permanently lose your hearing. Um. So, so when the plane started to descend, because I was so congested, um, the pressure just went fucking crazy, and, uh, I got barotrauma in both ears, and I burst a bl bunch of blood vessels in my ears, and, um... Holy crap. Yeah, it's like, if it had gotten, like, a little bit worse, I would have, like, ruptured my eardrums and needed surgery and wow. shit. Wow. Yeah, so I am a fucking mess right now. Dude, that must have been fun. It was not, it was one of the worst... It was one of the most painful things I've felt in my life. Wow, really? Yeah. It was like, cause like, you know how, um, when you feel pain, like, your first instinct, like, your animal instinct is to, like, put your hand over, like, the injury, or like, like, lick it, or like, something like that, like, just have some kind of contact with it, you know? Yeah, to, sure. Like I, I, did. I lick my wounds constantly. Well, you know what I mean. It's like the, the primal response. Right. Um, but this was like, inside my head, you know, like the pain, so it's just like, you don't even know what to do, you're just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Um, so, ad advice for the lovelies out there, be very careful. Uh, if you can, if you've got 
a sickness with a, a head cold or anything, and you need to fly. You don't want to get up and get down with that sickness. Yeah, please. You know please yeah, please try to, if you have the luxury, try to postpone your flight or something. Because woof. Bro, sorry to hear that happen to you, brother. Mm. It's okay. I'm just going to sound like ass for the next, like, seven episodes. That's okay. Okay, cool. So, like, we were flying back from, <laughs> we were flying back from MAGFest, and there was, it was one of the worst flights we've ever been a part of. Yeah. Uh, oh, there was, oh my god. There was, first of all. You go ahead. There was, like, a thousand babies. I, like, more than a thousand. <laughs> it was, the, it was the most baby flight <laughs> flight ever flown There were, there were 40,000 babies in the seats, and then an additional 20,000 stuffed into the overhead compartments. They had, they had a fucking late, like, we were waiting in line to board the plane, and there was, like, a lady in a fucking, like, reflective jacket. That was like wheeling in an entire like bellhop thing full of fucking Babies. baby carts. <laughs> and it was like, why are there so many baby carts on this flight? Gee, I wonder. Yeah, it was amazing. And like from the second the plane takes off, just like nonstop screaming, screaming and crying and like rhythmic and like it went back and forth forever. And it was just. Such an amazing chorus of human suffering, <laughs> like I've never heard in my life. <laughs> I remember specifically that, like, you know, the flight attendants have like, th like tips that yeah. they can that they can give people. Yeah. And like this one dad was like talking to her about tips, and she's like, "We already gave you all the tips that you that you can possibly get." <laughs> and he's like, "Well, can you help?" And she's like. And then she distinctly says in like the most fucking angry, vicious tone ever. She she says, "The more time you spend talking to me, the less time you take controlling her." Oh my <laughs> god! Oh my god! And that that's crazy. Like I didn't hear any of that because I had big, big headphones on the entire time. But like it, it's uh. It, Brian has told it to me because he's he's my closest friend that has a kid, you know I don't know Brian has told me that like sometimes because ninja Audrey like She'll go into like screaming crying fits and she's so distressed and like her face is red and there are tears streaming down her face and then Literally 45 seconds later. She's like smiling and happy oh, like yeah. nothing ever happened like we took that picture um that we put on the Ninja Sex Party Facebook of me next to her and she's smiling and babbling. She's totally fine. You would never know that literally 90 seconds before <laughs> you would have thought like she had watched her parents die right in front of her <laughs> Bruce Wayne style <laughs> and was old enough to process it. If I had a kid I'd probably kick it a bunch. Right, I mean, uh, like as we all would, but... Because <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, shut up. And then I'd kick it. Yeah. <laughs> when no one would actually kick a baby. Though I, I'm pretty sure that every parent, no matter how much they love their baby, has wanted to kick it. I'd deep probably down. kick my baby. I'd probably, yeah. Cool. So, anyway, like the other. Kick it <laughs> <in your> face. <laughs> the other enjoyable thing. Can I can I do this, Aaron? Can I share the text? Yeah, go. Ahead. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Okay, cool. I mean, Aaron, um, Aaron and I were, <laughs> and I were sitting in the airport, <laughs> getting ready to fly out of DC, and uh, he, he sees there's there's one guy sitting across from us, and I don't really put anything together. So he's a he's an older gentleman, um, a little bit heavy set, and uh, and. <laughs> You know what? I'll just I'll just write the two texts that Aaron sent to me right in a row. Text one, motherfucking fat Tim Robbins over here. Look at this guy. Text two, that was actually Tim Robbins. Because <laughs> I guess Aaron, when we got on the flight, Aaron noticed that the guy was in first class and then saw like a movie trailer with Tim Robbins and he was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, look me in the face, too, like, as I was walking by, and he was sitting in his first class seat, yep. and I just got a good look at his Tim Robbins face, and I was like... <laughs> his Tim robbins -y I face. I was like, there he is. That's the guy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That is funny. That's fucking Andy Dufresne right there. He's not that fat. No. He's just... You know, it was just really funny. Cause yeah, he's, and he's a, it was it was it was the posture. He had like a lazy posture. Yeah, just yeah. Sitting, it was like he just didn't care. Yeah, yeah. Like, like when you like him. sink into your own chin. 
<laughs> yeah, it's understandable. He oh. is an outstanding actor, though, not to take anything away from him. Oh my god. God, that was funny, though. <laughs> to, just to read those two texts back to back. <laughs> Oh, it boy. was it was a very special end and, and I mean like we're all fucked up because like Magfest like we had a great time. Oh my god Like it was so awesome to like meet all of you uh, who came out. We we met thousands of fans and thousands. like yeah yep. so like we're all fucked up like we're just the whole group is like a like just, We should all be quarantined for six weeks much like those babies should have been quarantined into a soundproof booth in, oh, in the airport. That would be amazing if that did, if, if that was, oh, that'd be so good. What a great idea. Oh, let's quarantine babies. Not, well, what if like an airline, like had a, a soundproof section in the back where the baby like- baby section? Yeah, just, we, like you could, if you had a baby, you just buy your baby seats. And like, oh. you, you know, for one or two parents and like, you just hang there and fucking suffer. In 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 obscene <laughs> in, in an obscenely enclosed environment. Oh wait, hold on. Oh yeah. Yo, it's like a okay. Whoa. Oh, that was icy. Yo, it's like a hand that I can shoot out and then it comes back to me. Yo. Whoops. Yo, it's like a good dog when you throw a fucking <laughs> tennis ball. <laughs> You turned into like a fucking like airline pilot giving like one of those like pre-flight talks. It's like a dog when they uh, <laughs> We'll be cruising at an altitude of uh, uh, 50,000 feet. Dude, I was just on a flight today uh -huh. and motherfucking Woo. the pilot was one of those pilots like like the kind of pilot that like tries to ease the tension of whatever's going on like, Oh, the, yeah, the plane could be f like yeah careening towards the yeah, ground. and he's just like eh, well it's, uh, At least you know what it's like to be in space. <laughs> Did he say that? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, okay. So gotcha. we had a bunch of turbulence It was like really bad. Oh, I and hate people it. people like started getting nervous, right? And he was like he was like well, uh, looks like all you people going to Disneyland get a free ride for. Uh, <laughs> it's like, man, shut up. <laughs> yeah. Get us out of the turbulence, you fucking asshole. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have liked it more if he was like, well, uh, we're uh, all gonna die <laughs> at an altitude of uh, thirty thousand feet. He was one. <laughs> we will be cruising at an altitude of thirty thousand, twenty thousand, fifteen thousand, ten five. <laughs> <laughs> Stop throwing me. He's one of those- he's one of those guys, one of those pilots that, um... He- he oh. like, kinda laughs at his own jokes. Oh yeah. He's like, hey, okay. Okay. Like, anyway. And you get like that tepid laughter. Ah. Like when he's like, hey, you get it like this. <laughs> and, and then you just- you just hear like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> And he's like, hey, like, cause he can't hear anybody, he's in the cockpit. So he's just like assuming that he got like this roaring yeah. fucking like 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 fucking yeah like an applause break yeah like Def Jam comedy <laughs> like they're all like jumping out of their seats like oh no you, you did not, not! <laughs> that was awesome there is a Luigi tile that do you not see that oh, do you yeah. not fucking see that that's cool what does that mean that's Illuminati shit dude whoa yeah. yo Illuminati with a body I have a little story okay like. Whenever I go on planes, I'm not good at planes at all. You used to be. You used to like planes. I did. I think most kids did, did they not? Well, I mean, when you first went on a plane, you hadn't been on a plane in a long time. Yeah? The first time you were going to New York, you were like, I'm excited. I haven't been on a plane in a long time. And then you went on it, and you were like, oh, man, this is great. I love flying. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I never fucking said this. Yeah, you did. No, I hate flying. What are you talking about? You... Maybe the experience was fun, like, in the adventurous sense, but I do not like the actual act of flying. It was... Because I had, can't sit still. You had an overall positive experience when you returned. The you're, first time? You, were you, like, mean, when I, you mean when I went out to, like, Philadelphia? Yeah, I think so. I was scared shitless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You were nervous beforehand, but when you came back, you said you were, you were like, Ah, oh, flying's not so bad, I like it. Oh, I think probably I was just getting over, like, the uh, actual huge oh, okay. fear of flying. I was really scared to go, don't you remember? Uh, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, it wasn't New York, it was Philly. Uh, it, it, and, and, uh, just... Yeah, I, anyways, so... Yeah, what was your story? Nowadays, especially because I'm all used to it and it's no fun anymore, it's just a thing. I can't sit still for very long. Yeah. So the only way... I don't usually do it on the way out, but on the way back, 
Like, I, I just drink a lot because it's the only way I can forget about the fact that I'm absolutely miserable. Especially if there's something... I can handle it if, if like, there's nobody in the seat next to me. Uh -huh. But, like, if there's somebody in the seat next to me, I, I can't... I, for some reason, have this, like... I don't know. You know about the fact that I, like... I can't sit still, right? Yeah. So fucking like, I, I have to like, I kept jerking the guy next to me awake. I'd be like, <laughs> I'd, like hit him with my knee, and he'd go, like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh fuck, I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's horrible. Yeah, it felt really bad, and and like I can't help it. I seriously, it's like, like ticks and shit. Like, and, ah shit, now it does me right now. I have ticks. <laughs> Great. You do? Ew, gross, get him off! Oh no, they're sucking my off. blood! <laughs> Your blood? Yeah, nonetheless. I mean, I like to get drunk, regular, right? That, yeah. That's, I just, I, I, I love drinking. That's regular. But on a plane, I need it. Like, it's the only way I can overcome the, like... I mean, I don't need it, but it's there and it's gonna help me, so I do it, right? Like, I'm sure I could, I can physically go on a plane, but it makes it very much a more pleasant experience for me. Right. So, like, I just keep generally ordering booze. Like, just more and more and more. And, like, not, like, to the point where I throw up, but definitely the point where I'm just, like, sitting there, like, let's go on a fucking plane. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, just and, over and over? Yeah. And so the first time they come around... Like I order a fucking like I, I just order like one they they have these like big wine bottles on the on the on the plane nowadays. It's like not like a little one, it's like big. So, so I order get that. I order one of those and I drink it, right? And just then, out of the bottle, like what? straight up. Yeah, and by like the second or third time that I order, <laughs> they kinda look at me like Shouldn't be giving this to you. <laughs> and I feel like a fucking alcoholic or something. <laughs> and it's such an awful feeling. But I'm like, I just need it. Just give it to me, please. <laughs> That's like an alcoholic attitude. Though. I know. You're like saying everything that would make them more suspicious of you. I, know. I just need it. Just give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I seriously, I seriously just fucking need it. And every fucking, I like, I, they're friends with me at first, and then they're just like, I shouldn't even be giving this to you, but I have to. <laughs> <laughs> they realized that it was a bad idea to, like, yeah. get buddy-buddy with you, and uh, they're like, maybe some people I just shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's how I feel. And sometimes, like, I try to, like, if, like, the one that sold me the alcohol in the first place goes to the front of the plane, I try to just go to the back, and I'm like, dude, just give me a fucking another one right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, so that, like, they don't see them. That's, like, literally every sign of a fucking, like, addict. I know! <laughs> like, I don't know, just, just don't tell me. Just please don't tell me. I know! That's what makes me feel like such a piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you're like you're like the story backstage. I know I like this story. You're like what? Fuck, the fucking guy. You just don't give him anything. Just don't. I know he seems like a cool guy and everything, but <laughs> oh my god! I, I I I I swear to you, I just cannot. It's the only way I can sit still on a plane. It actually like it's it makes me able to sit still. I mean, I'm sure I could do something else like take like. Xanax? Xanax, but I don't want to go and take get, get fucking Xanax, you know what I mean? <laughs> I love how that's like the better solution. Yeah. I could just go take a really highly addictive <laughs> drug that yeah. is horrible. There is no other way for me. Hold on. Uh. This fucking lady. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Red! <laughs> Lucky number three! <laughs> what, dude. Sometimes you down. Th this morning, actually. I like took a shower and I think I like I like took a shit or something and then I just smelled like an old dude <laughs> and I was like no <laughs> is it happening <laughs> is this what happens <laughs> I smelled like old spice and mildew <laughs> <laughs> Oh god and not the cool new old spice with the with the guy well, on the horse you were talking about the old one with the fucking boat on it Oh I know it you were stuck next to uh, an old smelling person on the plane out to Japan. Every right? time I fly to Japan, I've gone there three times. Yes. Every single flight, I sit next to some fucking halitosis ass motherfucker. Oh, that's brutal. Who just can't. And this time, it was like it was like a sweet old lady, and I was like, oh man, I'm, I broke the chain. <laughs> and then she went, <sighs> oh. and then I was like, oh no! <laughs> Would you like a? Honey lemon drop. <laughs> just like so, dropping all kinds of H words. And I was, oh god, I was just like, 
just agony the whole time. Hello, and dearie. And it's funny because the person sitting, I always sit in the middle row because I'm the fucking man and I can take it. And Susie wants the window, so I give her the window. Right, you're a good man. But fucking every time I'm like, oh, do you smell that? And she's like, no. I'm like, great. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I guess that's good for you. you. I was directly behind you, and I could definitely, I could pick up on something. Really? I didn't know. I didn't know the source, but. uh yeah, it smelled like old person. I don't know. There's, they have a very distinct smell. Yeah, they're they're they are musky. And I'm sure someone will be like, "But Danny, you're old." <laughs> I got. I, no, I, I'm talking old. Hey, I literally just said that I smell like old person today. Yeah, you did. I don't anymore though. I I almost said and you I do, I never but then I corrected again. myself mentally. Oh, I wanted to bring it up while we were uh, while you were doing a little grinding off camera. Um, we briefly discussed, uh, the hilariousness of, uh, Dumb and Dumber 2, or lack thereof. Oh, yeah. And how I watched it on the plane back from Japan, and, um, the problem is, not, not a really great movie, but, like, there, there are certain moments that made me laugh a lot, and, like, we were just talking about the weirdness of, like, laughing on a plane, because... Oh, yeah. Yeah, because, like, Chances are someone is like either reading or sleeping or like <laughs> watching a sad movie next to you <laughs> and you're just like totally silent and then all of a sudden you're like Then <laughs> 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 you're just like uh, mm, uh, uh, and then just yeah. <laughs> 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 the worst. I also, I get, I get, sometimes I get a silent laugh, like a... <laughs> which just makes you sound like a serial killer if you're sitting next to someone and you start doing it. So this is the boss that I missed, alright? Oh, yeah! I remember this guy, Electro Wolf. Let's um, do that. But basically, before I fight him, I wanted to say, mm -hmm. um, my favorite one, my favorite move is, like, the build-up. The, the, on laughing on the plane. Uh-huh. Where it's like, uh... It's like... <laughs> <laughs> and then you're just like, here it comes, and you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, good thing you said here it comes, because Kevin just got his fucking headphone wearing ears blown out. Oh, it's okay, it was the Dynamics Process version of the audio. Sorry, so Kev, baby. Everything was the same volume. Okay, cool. Alright, uh, this guy's dead. But I'll go through this door and see if I can fit through that, because okay. I'm big the cat. And I'm super fat. The cat. <laughs> what you think about that? <laughs> yeah. Yo, this is my rap. It sounds like crap, but that's okay if it's not all that great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oof. What about down here? You know what? If you weren't the uh, rap artist in a band that I'm in, yeah, I would uh, have some real concerns right now. Wait, did you? Oh, oh man, I don't think I ever told that story on Game Grumps. What's that? We were flying. I don't remember, it was like, maybe we were flying to MAGFest or like, somewhere, but we were going there like as Starbomb, and we were gonna make an appearance as Starbomb, and, and then like, I was on the I was on the plane and I was just making like horrible raps. <laughs> I was like, yo, yo, these th th people gotta move, yo, yo, let's get out of here, or some shit like that, and then this guy was like, who was clearly also going to MAGFest, was like, uh wow man, you're a great rapper. You should you should do some you should do some raps professionally, like sarcastically. Yeah, oh that was it. <laughs> oh that's awesome. <laughs> I was like, thanks man. Maybe I will. Yeah. <laughs> Out of bounds. Speaking of poopy functions, you need to, you need to talk to Jared about his move here. Jared just moved to um, LA. Pro Jared. Yes. And uh, he had a very harrowing experience trying to get his cat on the plane. Mm. Apparently, uh, their cat Aries, Heidi and Jared's cat, Aries. like took a huge shit in, in the uh, in their uh, carrier crate. Aww, poor kitty. And the kitty. poor guy, they had to take him out through customs and like carry him through. But his poor bum bum was covered in poopy. And then the TSA TSA guy said, "That's a smelly cat." <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't wrong. He wasn't wrong. Uh, oh, let's go up. It's a very funny story Jared tells. Aww. It's, it's and cute and tragic. Their cat is huge. Have really? You, have you seen pictures of it? Never. It's like, you know how tall Heidi is, right? Yes. And that's Jared's wife, if you yes. guys aren't familiar. Professional Jared. Professional Jared's your wife. Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> um, their cat, like, when, when, when the cat stands up on its back, on its, like, on its back legs and stretches upward, mm -hmm. it touches Heidi's waist. 
Whoa. Like it's that tall. That Damn. Huge. That's like a Marmaduke cat. It's fucking massive. Wow. I was at the- I was at the- I was at the- <laughs> I was at the airport, yeah? and I had a master ball pin on, about that. and then this kid came up to me and he was like, Hey! And, and like, I thought he recognized me and I was like, oh god. And yeah. then- and then- he was. I say, oh god, because I was tired in the airport. I, I was like, I, I was like, hey, Aaron. It's not because I'm really a fucking asshole. <laughs> I was like, I was, I was. It was like a seven-hour layover, and I was like, a missile. Five hours into it, and I was about to fucking shoot myself, and then it was just like, you, hey, and I was like, oh no. But and then he was like, where'd you get your pin? And I was like, oh, oh, uh, I, I got it from somebody gave it to me, and he was like, oh, cool, <clears throat> I like your pin, and I, like walked away, and I was like. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you recognized me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just like made me feel good. I was like, I run a company, Three's Company, when I watch it alone and masturbate at night. <laughs> I'll come and knock on your door, Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> it just kept getting sadder and sadder. <laughs> I run a company, Three's Company, when I watch it alone at night, masturbate. masturbating. <laughs> Coming, I got a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, is that? Whoa, neat. Okay, cool. There was um, I was on a plane once, and there was a, there was like this like, I was sitting in first class. I, I think I got like bumped up or something. Uh -huh. So I was sitting next to a bunch of like really, you know, like, well-to-do looking dudes in right. like like uh, like really nice clothes mm -hmm. and, and like a suit and shit, and. <laughs> And there's this fucking like really, really like clean cut black dude. Yep. And he just had he had like the full DVD box set of Three's Company <laughs> like on his lap, and then a laptop, and he's just like watching it the whole time, just like rocking like it. like. like <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. That's so awesome. I was like, damn, I yeah. wish I could enjoy Three's Company like that. I know. I am not, absolutely not, like, the biggest huge fan of Three's Company, like, by any means. It's, uh, it's sort of an acquired taste. Dude, I came, <laughs> I came back from the airport the other day, and, uh, John really hates fucking planes, especially six, six hour flights. Uh, so I just drink a lot on them? I mean, a lot? I just keep buying alcohol. Um... Go on with your, uh, drunk plane story, you so, fucking alcoholic. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> on, <laughs> on planes, it's not far from the truth. Uh, but, like, I went back so many times- Because, uh, like, the car comes by, and that's when you can buy shit on the plane, right? Mm -hmm. You swipe your card, and you just buy whatever. But, you know, you can go- Oh, fuck. I got the X. Yeah, you're fine. You can go back there and ask them for something else and they'll sell it to you still. Just most people don't think to do it or want to do it. Well, you can call room service. Or you can call room the- Room service? Yeah! You, you, on my fucking airplane room! <laughs> you can call the little- the little ding button and then she comes by and presses it like you fucking just annoyed her. Well, <laughs> she it. presses it off? <laughs> yeah! They always, they always come by and they, and they turn it off and it's like, I'm sorry. What'd you <laughs> I didn't mean to turn oh, your button on. Yeah. He <laughs> turns it off, looks at you funny, walks away. No, but uh... Yeah, I just go back there because whatever. I'm not gonna make them come to me. I d I am very against. That's their job. I'm very. Don't ask me why. I'm very against being served on. I can't stand it. I just don't. Want, I'm like, stop, stop serving on me. Like, I don't. I know it's your job. Just don't. Yeah. Do the mi minimum for me, please. Well, I don't even want to tip you. Just, <laughs> just do your job regular, and then I'm going to leave. I guess for me, it's circumstantial. Like when I go to cons, and like when you go to a con and you're a guest, you have, like, a liaison that's always, yeah. like, waiting on you, uh, like, hand and foot. They're like, do you need anything? Can I get you something? Because I yeah. guess a lot of guests are really, like, demanding. But I'm totally not that fucking yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, of course. So when... I, I imagine when the liaisons get me, they're like, yes! Because they don't have to do a goddamn thing. No! And, and whenever I need something, like, fucking Tylenol or something, I'm like, I'm like... Uh, yeah. Can I please, like, if, if it's not too much trouble, yeah. can well, I... Well, like, that's called being a human being. Yeah. I mean, like, well, like, of course, my fucking job. I'll get you yeah. Tylenol. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> if you really needed something, yeah, they'd be there for that. But not like, hey, I need a fucking coffee because I'm a star. Yeah. Like, fuck you. <laughs> Brown M&Ms only. Yeah. Brown M&Ms only. No, no, fuck that shit. I, that's when you stop being the person you are and start being. Well, maybe you're that person. I don't know. <laughs> fuck you. I don't want to hang out with you. <laughs> shit. Ah. Oh! Uh, I'm out of here. But uh. I'm out of here. <laughs> but um, I went back there and I just kept purchasing alcohol so much so the lady was like, show me some ID. <laughs> Suspicious of me, <laughs> and then she's like, "You, you, you better not." Like, she's like warning me, like how it's like she's like two on the two, one on the ground is two on the plane, 
And I'm like, no. And she's like, I've been doing this for 30 years. You're gonna, you're gonna, ju you're gonna question me? And I'm like, yeah. I feel just as drunk as I went on the ground. <laughs> it's like, you don't own me. But apparently, people throw up a lot on airplanes. But nonetheless, I got really drunk, right? I, I got home and I just was drunk. I, I didn't drive home. Like, of course, I got picked up. <laughs> but like, I was still drunk because I drank so much. John, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I know, I John. Endangering lives. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I was so drunk at the fucking supermarket that I bought, I bought a pack of cigarettes. I still have them, and I don't smoke cigarettes. What? Yeah, I don't smoke cigarettes. I, oh, there's chicken right there. I just, just I just was like, just I, get it. Just, I, I mean, right to the left. Right I, I, I was just like, I was just like, I just want to smoke some cigarettes. <laughs> and, then I, and then I got home and, of course, felt like all six. I didn't want to smoke. And then the next morning, I'm just, oh, shit, what's that? Oh, nothing.